Hi everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel. I'm really excited to be able to bring you this arm and spinal mobility stretch session. It's gonna relieve any tension you may have or stiffness in those areas and you will feel better after this. You can do it before exercise, after exercise, you can do it on its own so you can make it fit your schedule. All I ask is one thing and that is you take it easy and you build into the movements and not force anything. That's it. Each movement for one minute, we have nine different movements we're getting into. We are actively stretching. That means we are moving as we're stretching rather than sustaining anything, apart from in two cases where we hold the stretch longer than in the other exercises. I hope you're looking forward to it. I am. Let's relieve the tension. Let's make our chest, shoulders, and spine feel more supple, less stiff, and feel better after. Are you ready? Please comment, like, subscribe. Let's go. First position, box shape. Hands directly under shoulders, knees under hips. We're gonna be stretching our lower back. Breath in, breath out, rock backwards. You can have your toes up like so, or like this, yeah, you choose. So we're just loosening off any tension in your lower back. One more. Now we're going to thread the needle. Starting with your right hand, you're going to go through the gap, thread it through the hole. Three, two, one. Come back in, and now we're going to do the opposite side. Thread it through. Start gently with this. This is a powerful stretch. Remember what I said at the beginning. Build into it. Three, two, one, back in. So let's remember our breathing. Breath in, then breathe out as you rotate through. Nice stretch for your upper back. It's also stretching through your shoulders. One more. Now we're going to open it up. So what that means is we thread the needle through, but we come up with the hand right up to the ceiling. Much more powerful stretch. Other hand, thread the needle. Come through, rotate up, open the palm, smile, Back through. Other side. Rotate. You might find you're loosening up a little bit, you're able to go a little bit further. So sort of opening up the chest as well as your shoulders, as well as your upper back. One more. Either side here. Remember, nice and gently, don't have to force this, just gently stretching, relieving that tension. Last one. Okay, from here, you're going to sit on your bottom. Now, you may want a block or a pillow, depending on how tight you are in your lower back. Okay, I'm going to do it with a block so you can see. We're going to be stretching through our upper spine, our thoracic spine. So we're going to fold over our legs, breath in, breath out, sit tall, drawing your shoulder blades together, lifting the spine up. So lifting up, 
pull on your legs a little bit if it helps. Having your knees bent, if you're quite stiff with a block under you, is a really good start point. If you are feeling good with this, you can take your legs out a little bit so they're not so bent. So when you come up, it's a more powerful stretch for you. So we fold forward, breath in, breath out, come tall, lift through your thoracic spine, lift your chest, feel tall, head on top of spine. One more, fold, deep breath in, go tall, roll your shoulders back, lift, three, two, one, and relax. Now we're going to do some spinal rotations, so you sit tall, bend the knees as much as you need to, to allow you to be upright, arms here, and just rotate, one, two, three, other way. Do these gently, don't force it, easy. These are powerful stretches for your spine. Now with the arms, palms together. And the reason we wanna just gently mobilize the back in this way, rather than forcing long holds, it's because you're moving your spine, your joints, only small muscles, and they tend to respond better to repetitive movement rather than big long stretches, which is a bit different for our legs. And you'll see in the leg stretch routine that we have a different approach. If that's too much, you can hold on to your legs and just rotate, allowing your arms to come with you, almost like you're running. Okay, that just re reduces the intensity of it. So we've got three positions of the arms. Here, here, or here. Try all three and see which one you like. Last one. Now from here, we're gonna lose your block. If you're sat on one, just pop it on one end. Turn yourself around. Legs are bent, and we're gonna roll onto our backs. From here, don't get too comfortable, because we're gonna go onto our side. Pick a side you wanna lay on. You're probably gonna need your pillow here to support your head because our hands are on top. Now, if you're feeling a little bit unstable, you can bend the bottom leg, but if you've got good stability, you can keep your feet on top of each other. Now, from here, I'm gonna do some arm openers, I'm gonna stretch through your chest, breath in, breath out, open up the arm. You may feel a gentle pull through here. If you're tight, Sometimes you won't feel anything, okay? And that just might mean you're not particularly stiff or tight in any muscles, but you will be mobilizing and stretching the joints underneath those muscles. Breath in. Breath out. So in this position, just to hold it, you'll be working your core muscles. One more, then we're going to change. So we've got around half a minute each side here. Now, to change position, I'm going to rock and roll up, pivot round, bring your pillow with you, put it into position, Hands on top, same thing, breath in, breath out. We're 
remember, if you're feeling a little bit wobbly, you can bend the underside leg, give you a bit more support. If you're happy, keep them on top. So we're stretching through your chest, opening up the ribs, little stretch at the front of the shoulder. Breath in, breath out as we go. Just feel that stretch opening up the joints. Float back down. Okay, from here, you can lose your pillow and you can roll simply onto your back. Okay, I'm going to pivot around so I'm facing the other way, but all you need to do is roll onto your back from here. do a nice lower back stretch also open and stretch through the outside of the hips so stretch out one leg the other leg will come over the top and you'll gently pull it over you'll feel a stretch for your lower back possibly around the high outside area of your hip So here, we've got the two positions where we are stretching out our whole body. Okay, this is one. Last couple of seconds, and then we're gonna change sides. So all you do, roll back onto your back, bend the other leg, stretch out the other one, roll it over with this hand, pull it through. Nice and gently, easy breathing. Powerful stretch, just gently hold it, don't have to try too hard. Just feel all this area stretching, most of the stretch through your lower back. Okay, and release that. From here, we're going to have a total body stretch. So your legs are going to go long, your arms will go long. And I'm not necessarily reaching or stretching, I'm just relaxing in this position. If you've got shoulder problems, then this obviously is going to be a better position for you. But if you're fit and well, which you should be to do this session, stretch your arms up and over. And you may feel a stretch through your chest, through your tummy. It's going to open up through your hips. Now from here, just slide the arms down into that hands up position. Not that I've ever been arrested, but you know, the police saying hands up, yeah? So hands up position, breath in, breath out, reach up. Feel the change, and you might feel some tension now, releasing through your upper back. Breath in, stretching through your chest. Breath out, reach, over and grow. Allow the ribs to lift a little bit. One more, breath in. Breath out. From here, Bend both knees. We're gonna finish by mobilizing all through our spine. So we're gonna rock and roll into sitting. Like this, we rock and roll up, and then we control the roll back. Lightly hold on if you need to, allow each vertebrae to find the floor. One, two, 
rock and roll, reach, and then slowly control that lower knee. Use your tummy muscles to get your leg in. One, two. So you'll notice I've got my hands here, they can be here. You can choose, you can hold on, you don't have to hold on, but we're mobilizing the spine and working our tummy a little bit here. So it's a little bit of a cheeky exercise for me to throw in, but it's hitting lots and lots of good things. So if you want to make this harder, legs longer. Control the lowering, control the lowering. Allow the arms to go over the head. Last one. One, two, rock and roll. Reach. And then roll back. Tummy on, control the lowering. Rest, breath in. Breath out. Allow your body to sink into the mat. Again, one more. Breath in. As you breathe out, let the tension go. Let it go, let it go. Good stuff, bend the knees, rock and roll up, and join me up on your mat or your rug. Hope you enjoyed that session. Remember, please like, comment, and subscribe. The aim of that session was to relieve any tension to your chest, your shoulders, and mobilize your spine. I hope you're feeling looser, less stiff, and calmer as a result. Hope you enjoyed that. Loads more to come from me. We'll see you soon. Take care. Mm -hmm.